Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to generate a Divi child theme directly on your site and it really only takes one click um, and it's, it's awesome how easy it is to do this. We're going to be using our Divi Assistant plugin. If you haven't seen that, you'll definitely have to check that out but I'm going to show you the very short few steps there are to generate a child theme and then also I'm going to show you just a few things like why you would want to have a child theme in the first place. All right, so over here on the written blog post, you can see some of the use cases I have highlighted here, um, just a couple of them. And these are things that will be beneficial if um, you are using any kind of code on your Divi website. For example, if you are pasting code from one of our tutorials or maybe some of the other resources online and you need somewhere to paste that code, those snippets that you're finding, a child theme would be a great place to do that. Um, there, there are some advantages with a child theme as opposed to like um, putting them in, in the theme options, for example, um, such as caching, that could be an advantage. But um, the other advantages to just having a child theme are just, well, the first one's pretty basic. It's you don't need to overwrite the Divi core files. And if you did that, like if you were to go and actually modify Divi itself, it would get deleted whenever there is an update, which happens quite often. So you would not want to really do that. So you're able to maintain um, customizations when you update. And that, that's point number two, just preserving your, your customizations. And actually there's, there's another advantage here, keeping them separated. So you can have a very clear point to go to your style.css file, your scripts.js file, and your functions.php file. It's just a central place where you can add any of those code snippets or customizations that you're doing. And then I mentioned here community resources. Well, there's actually a lot of um, child themes that are, that are free or premium. So for example, in the Divi marketplace or on developer websites such as my own, um, we actually sell child themes, right? So that would be um, like a pre-made template. Think of it that way with some customizations added. Um, there's so many free snippets out there, things like that, even from the Elegant Themes uh, website or help articles. And I forgot to mention efficient development, but basically that point number three is that you can set up things that you like to always have on your Divi websites. And then you can actually use that same child theme over and over. So that's efficient development because you're not like pasting it into every new site that you make. Um, you, you can use a child theme and reuse that child theme. Um, so there are definitely some advantages, but um, the main thing I wanna get to is how to generate it. So I have the instructions written here. Uh, it's kind of like four quick points. Um, they're, they're really, really easy. But first of all, install and activate Divi Assistant. Now that's our plugin. Uh, we call it our flagship plugin. It, it has, you know, just tons and tons of tools and features for every Divi user to make your life easier. And this is one of them. And it certainly does make your life easier. Let me show you. In fact, I'm going to hop over to the product page. Here it talks about what it is, but I have this link here um, to install an admin demo. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on that and you'll see that this is literally going to be like a fresh install. And actually you can come here and play around with Divi Assistant to get familiar with all the settings and check it out and see if you wanna buy it or not, see if it will help you in your workflow. It's literally live right now. I'm not editing this at all. It's installing this right now. Now it does say this site will expire in one hour. I set it to one hour, I figured um, that was a pretty good amount of time. So once you're in here, just click on this magic login button and then it's going to do this again. You're being redirected to the WordPress admin panel. And in fact, I redirect you directly to Divi Assistant. Now, once you're in here, you can certainly explore all of that. But for this tutorial, click on Startup Helper and then this sub tab here, Generate slash Export Child Theme. Now, right here, all of this stuff is already entered. So it's literally like one click. <laughs> Generate and activate child theme. That button will do exactly what it what it says. So you can give it a name. For example, maybe you have an agency and you want there to be a child theme name that people see when they log into your site. 
you can add a description for it. Um, you can put your company name right here and your company website if you want to. You can even give it a version number. And you can also upload your own image. Now, we do have a default image set, like with the Divi Assistant, like purple and the, like the icon logo. So that will be the default or you can choose your own. So literally all I did so far, install Divi Assistant, click the startup tab, click the generate child theme tab, and then click the button. So it's, it's literally like two clicks, three clicks, I don't know. Now it already went and did that. So what I can do is go over here to appearance, themes, and you can see that I instantly have a child theme activated. Um, it, it's pretty cool. So you could also go and edit. Now I've disabled editing on this particular demo, but normally you would see like a child theme editor or, you know, the, the, the files you need are going to be in that child theme. But look at that. You didn't have to leave your site or anything. Um, you didn't have to install anything. You literally, if, you, if you're already using Divi Assistant in your workflow, you can just do that. Now I'll show you one more thing here. Once you're in there, it's, notice it did say generate slash export. Um, you could actually export that active child theme as a zip file. The reason you would do that if you already, you know, have it generated and you're adding some of your snippets to it, maybe your favorite customizations, and you want those also to be on your next site, you could export this and then on your next site, you could go to appearance and themes and then click, you know, the, um, wherever it is, install new button, which, oh, I disabled that for this demo, but you know what I mean? Um, so that would, that would allow you to quickly do that. So a lot of time saving features here and that's it. So once the plugins installed, which it would normally be in your workflow, just go to the startup helper and click a button. And just like that, you have a child theme. So I hope you do enjoy that. Um, and if you do, certainly let us know and do all the things. That really helps um, if you give us thumbs up and comment and all that. So, all right, well, I'll see you all in the next video.